In this tutorial, we will try to understand what Vistel is. Vistel stands for Web Service Description Language. What Vistel specifies is actually all the information about web service. It is an XML based document, so it is independent of any programming language. When you look at a Vistel, you should be able to figure out everything that it needs to invoke a web service and to process the result that the web service will return back to you. So let's first see a web Vistel. So here what I have done is I have hosted a web service in the Java, but it doesn't matter. The web service can be hosted on any platform on any programming language and when it exposes its web services through a Vistel, it can be consumed by anyone again irrespective of the platform and the programming language. So I visit for the Vistel. So the document that comes in front of you, this is what a Vistel is. Please understand that Vistel are normally not for human consumption. This is for your application to parse and make sense of it. So let's understand what the different parts of the Vistel are. What we'll do, we'll go from the backwards because that will be easier to understand. So the first thing we want to know is where the web service is located. So this is the location that tells that where this web service is located. And then you have to look into this binding, the temperature converter port binding go back where it is defined so it is defined here temperature converter port binding this binding basically binds your web service in terms of saying that this web service is moving with SOAP protocol over HTTP this area confuses most of the web service users but please understand that Vistel is independent of SOAP and this is the place where the Vistel and SOAP are tied to each other now at this binding what are the services available so for that you look into this type temperature converter and then you go back where the port is defined with this name so you have got this temperature converter uh, here so here the port type name temperature converter now here what are the operations that are available so there is one operation Celsius to Fahrenheit then other operation Fahrenheit to Celsius so this is like in terms of Java analogy and interface and the services that are available in that interface now what you send to this web service and what you will get back from this service the input message defines what you will be sending as request and the output message defines what you will be sending as part of the uh, sorry what you will be getting as part of the response now again how this is defined again you go back where your messages are defined so Celsius to Fahrenheit op Celsius to Fahrenheit op is here what it says that it contains a part parameters which have a structure Celsius to Fahrenheit op. again understand that this message is very generic it doesn't define whether it's a request or a response whether it will be a request or a response is defined in the context of the operation so now let's come back how this Celsius to Fahrenheit op is defined so in this case it is defined under the types but here if you notice that it is again importing another document here so let's just bring that document up and here you see this is a normal XST definition Fahrenheit to Celsius op contains a sequence of elements and which is at got a double so that way you see that how the request and the response structures are defined so really what will happen is that this will become your SOAP request and in the SOAP response again when you go back you will see that you will get Celsius to Fahrenheit op response message structure as the SOAP response again you go backwards and figure out how that structure would look like but please again understand that this is what your framework will be looking into this Vistel and then it will consume this Vistel and will generate the artifacts so most of the time your job as an application developer is to call those stubs that are generated by your framework so hopefully this was useful